The current zoo in Sacramento has been in its spot for nearly a century, but tonight's vote could move it from here on Land Park Drive to here, right around the corner from the Sky River Casino. ABC 10's Garsh Paul Sunga has been in Elk Grove all night long. Garsh Paul, will the vote even happen tonight? Yeah, Chris, uh, we've actually had a vote here just a few minutes ago, but those are just on the smaller items. The big one, which is the financing, that is what they're hashing out right now. They're really in the weeds to make sure everything makes sense for the city of Elk Grove before they approve it. Now we're approaching nearly five hours since this meeting started, and people are still. Standing room only for a pivotal vote for the relocation of the Sacramento Zoo to Elk Grove, nearly three years in the making. A few community members are trying to convince Elk Grove leaders to keep the zoo out of the city. Others hoping it is start of a new era. This will be such a gift to the children of this region as they witness the beautiful animals portrayed in their books and films, but alive and moving in a setting that approximates their natural environment. Having those modern facilities is going to help us grow. We're going to have more animals and more opportunities for those happy, happy faces. Opponents say the money should be used in other areas. The speaker said the project is lavish and expensive. It's not conservationist, but a capitalist venture. Ask yourself why no city in the United States has built a zoo in the past 35 years. It's because they're money pits. This project re reminds me of a circus performer who is spinning plates. The proposed 65-acre project could be built near Kremer Road and Lots Parkway, four times the size of the current Sacramento Zoo, nearly 100 years at William Land Park. Zoo officials say the current zoo has outgrown the facility. This is a transformative project. It will elevate the reputation of Elk Grove and of this region as a whole. Elk Grove officials have not released the total cost for the proposed zoo, but have said phase one could cost $302 million and funded through city funds, community partnerships, and taking out a loan. As our Garsh Paul Sangha reporting, the first four resolutions passed unanimously, but the financing measure is still being debated as we speak. Garshwal is still out there giving us the updates and we'll check back in later. The zoo will be built in phases, we're told, and it could be up and running by 2029.